Hi guys! So today we're going to be talking about preparing for an audition. When you have tapes that can add more stress, right? So you may think when you have an audition, oh my god, there's a time issue, it's like for in three hours, there's so much text to remember, there's so much text to understand and the character and like which method and you're thinking of techniques and if you're taping at home you're also thinking about the camera and which taker you're going to get and which reader you're going to read with and the lighting and the mic and like it just saying it my head is a little bit spinning it can be a lot to um prepare for an audition and because it can be a lot and there's so much there's the text, understanding the character, trying to make a choice and like thinking of how how am I going to make myself feel these emotions with the methods and the techniques that you've learned and that you've you've practiced at school, it can be very challenging and stressful. And so you might end up feeling like, well, what's happening? Like when I'm acting by myself, I really feel like, you know, flowing and natural and it's really me and I'm unique. And as soon as I'm auditioning or taping, it's like I'm so stuck and I'm not really myself and I'm kind of pretending and I'm kind of fake or pushing and it doesn't even feel good to me so how is that going to feel good to the audience or the casting director right like it it can be really stressful because because it's a lot and I get it um you're an actor and in order to book a job you need to audition or you need to do a tape and so there's a lot at stake right? You may be really wanting to book that job because you need to pay your rent because you haven't worked in a while because you're so passionate and you want to do the role. So it's totally understandable that there's a lot of pressure um, in that moment and that there's a lot of want. And the bigger the audition, I can tell you that too, because I work with actors who are all, you know, at all levels, the bigger the audition, the less confident you'll feel, the less present you'll feel, you'll have more fears, more nerves, more blocks, more everything that doesn't feel great, right? So um, you may have tried a lot of audition classes, self-tape classes, you may have gone to bigger teachers and more acting school and looking for the next guru to help you nail your auditions and study new methods and things like that. And so if you know me a little bit, you know I'm going to throw all of that out the window. If this is the first time that you're listening to me, I'm just going to tell you how it is. I'm going to throw all of that out the window. Because what the real root of um, the issue here is, is that we're calling it an audition. That it is an audition, that you're seeing it as an audition, and that you're working on it as an audition. And that is not your job description. That is not why you started being an actor or an actress. You didn't start this um, beautiful art in order to be good at auditions. Auditions are just a name that we've put on a process. But what is it that you're actually doing as an artist in that moment is you are being another person, a character, in some specific circumstances in a story, and you are defending your characters wants and you are trying to get what they want right that's what your job description is to bring life to a character to become that character to bring your life to the character so that you are the character in that moment because no one else is right you are the character in that moment no one else is and therefore you have full agency to go for what they want and fight for it that is your job description that's what you do as an actor, as an artist, is you bring your specific uniqueness, your freedom, your purpose, your uniqueness in that moment with this being, this character, and you fight for what they want. When you're tuned into, I have to do this audition, I have to book this audition, I have to be great at this audition, you're tuned into your ego, you're tuned into you. I want to look good. I want them to like me. I want to please them. I want to make the best choice. I want to be better than the other actors. I want them to be impressed. I want to remember my lines. Uh, I want to do this right. I want them to like me, etc. It's like an endless list of things that have to do with your ego. It has nothing to do with the character, right? So the short answer to this live is how to prepare for an audition. Don't prepare for an audition. Be your character and go for what they want. 
And if you for one second, if 1% of your energy is going into preparing for an audition, you're basically trying to look good. You're basically trying to sell something. You're being a carpet salesperson. Do you want to be that carpet salesperson, that salesperson that comes to you as soon as you get in the store and says, can, can I help you? Do you want something? And that you know they don't want to help you. They want to make a commission. They want to sell. You didn't get into art to sell. You have an agent to sell you. You got into art to actually open your heart, be with that, with your truth in the moment, no matter what that is. Not the right way, not the way it should be, not in a behave and appropriate way. Just your truth that only you can have because you're a unique human being and you want to like serve that into the character, being the character, wanting what they want and going for it. And none of that beautiful energy of yours should be spent on your ego. If it's spent on trying to book, on trying to look good, on trying to nail it, on trying to make the best choice, on trying to be better than the others, on trying to remember your lines, blah, 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 on trying to not be nervous, on trying to be confident, on trying to do the scene right or to do the scene better than others, basically you're fucked, right? And I mean fucked in every sense of the way. You're the first one being fucked because you're not enjoying your art. You're just being a good school teacher, school student at that moment. You're stuck in the old paradigm of your conditioning. You're like, oh, I'm going to try to make them like me. You, that's not going to be fulfilling for you as an artist. The second you're trying to do it for the others, you're not present. You're not here in the moment. You're not being this character. You're trying to manipulate the outcome. Right? Does that make sense, you guys? Um, so how do you do that? How do you not get sucked into, I want to book this. I want them to like me. I want them to love me. I want them to validate me. I want them to get the, I want to get the job. I need the money. Well, there's, here's, there's your ego and here's, there's your character. You need to make your character more important than you, right? Your character needs to be more important than you. And in order to do that, you have to have taken care of that ego of yours beforehand. You can't do that in the moment. No matter how I'm going to tell you now, it's not because you heard this and it makes sense. You might be like, oh yeah, of course, right. You'll go to your next audition, you'll do the same because you are programmed to be liked. You are programmed to look good. You're programmed to be the best. And programmed, I mean wired, conditioned from your parents to your school to listen, to behave, to be good because you don't want to be bad because if you're bad, you'll be rejected. You'll be unvalidated. You'll be unloved by your parents. You need to survive as a child and therefore you do what you're told, but you don't do what you want to do. You do what you're told, right? So if you're wired to actually always be in the result, in the salesperson, because your survival depends on it, you're going to go to an audition and you're going to do just that really well. You're, you're going to try and nail the audition. You're going to try and be good at it. You're going to try and remember your lines. You're going to try and look good. You're going to try and do it right. You're going to try and be better than the others because you've been trained to do that really well all your life. So even again, if I'm telling you right now, don't do that. Don't work on it as an audition because that's what's going to fuck you up from making you unfulfilled to not touching anyone because everyone feels you're not present and you're just trying to do it right. But there's no human inside of you. It's not going to work. Right? So how do you get to not pay attention to your ego and actually pay attention more to the character is by ahead of time making sure that you're not living from a place of ego, right? That this doesn't take over your whole nervous system all the time, that you actually have agency and freedom to be who you are, right? So you need to undo your conditioning, right? You need to undo that because it's in your tubes. It's in your plumbing. It's, it's in your architecture. You can't just wish it's not there. It's somatic. It's in your body. You actually have to do work to move through that and go back to your natural self, your instinctive self, your free self, your truthful self, so that you can have access to how utterly unique, powerful, magic, extraordinary, you are. And every one of us is. There's not better people than others. We're all extraordinarily different, rich, beautiful, cracked up, fucked up human beings. We just are by nature. None of us is the same person, right? 
And what we're looking for, what the industry is looking for, is that version of you. Not the looking put together version of you. No one cares. They want you in art, whether it's in painting and singing and acting, especially in acting because you're the instrument, right? They want you. They want you to be fucked up and beautiful and terrible and worse and horrible and terrific and extraordinary. And if you won't let yourself feel that because you're stuck in the conditioning of your ego of looking good, you'll never offer that to any character. So they'll never be alive. So they'll never be fulfilling for you. They'll never be impactful to the casting. They'll never impact the audience. They'll never touch anyone, right? So the work to do is to first undo this conditioning, right? And once you've undone the conditioning, you can start waking up your instinct and muscling that up so you can act from a place of uniqueness, from a place of instinct, impulse, in the moment, present, right there, right now, with my truth, right? So if this makes sense to you, if you're kind of done, with um, trying to find the right way to work on your auditions and you've tried everything and actually it never feels great. It always feels great when you're not auditioning. If this makes sense that you're giving too much importance or more importance to the audition than actually what you want to say in there, um, let us know in the comments if you want more information about, um, you know, resetting yourself, deconditioning yourself. Or you can also download the free training that we have um, in the link in the bio or in the about section about how to go from being a good actor to being a great actor, which is already going to help you understand this more and take a couple steps in the direction of making your characters more important than your ego, right? Your ego can progressively um, take its space, but it doesn't need to take your space, your whole space. It doesn't need to lead your life, especially as an artist. Do not try to prep for an audition. That is not your job. You are here to defend a character. So make sure you do the work ahead of time. And if you want help with that, connect with us and we can first start with that free training uh, that you can download for free um, to make sure that you're not coming to acting into auditions from a place of trying to book them because that's a disaster for you and for everyone else. All right. Thank you guys. Nice to connect and I'll see you on Wednesday for a great interview. Okay. Bye.